So let's see another video. Uh, this is a small video I thought like I will share with you so certain errors. Like normally what happens when we are doing the configuration or uh, when uh, like uh, when the users are working so, or when you are like from learning point of view when you are doing the practice so that time you, you find a lot of errors right. So while doing the practice or let's say when you are doing the posting something that time we are getting lot of errors and uh, one option you can go to the IMG screen and you can do the configuration whatever the missing configurations are there. So that's why in this presentation I am going to share with you like uh, if some missing configurations are there and uh, we are getting any error. So how can uh, directly we can maintain the uh, configurations from that error message. Normally what happen uh, when you will uh, in interview they will ask you directly the interview in interview question they will ask you uh, like this particular configuration uh, missing is there or let's say we are getting this error then how we uh, we can resolve that particular error so in that case uh, I can't show you the system here because these are my some collected errors so this time only I am going to show you the uh, PPT but I will explain what what are the things missing so let, this is one error I captured so you can see uh, this is the error message when I uh, this is we are creating the GR and uh, we are while creating the GR so I am getting this particular error message so I am sure while doing the practice you must have uh, you must have seen this type of different messages when uh, you are doing the postings or something okay during the your user activity so if you we'll double click on this one if you we'll double click on this account determination for entry YCA or if you click on this question mark so if you click on this question mark you will find that certain double message will be there so if you, let's say I click on this question mark and I got this message so I can see here from this message now I have to determine which configuration is missing so if you see what is the message account determination for entry the chart of account YCCA this is the chart of account and the account determination key PRD missing or it is not possible so something like I am getting the error now how to resolve this error so from this error message I can see if you see the down you can see the account determination in customizing something is missing so it is nothing but your normal OBYC setting some configuration is missing so if you have provided that you have the authorization uh, normally in test system we have the authorization but in a real system users they don't have the authorization assume that we have the authorization so if you have the authorization so double click on this account determination okay in the uh, here in this uh, account determination you need to click here once you click this one then automatically it will it will redirect you to the configuration auto posting so just I click there now you can see automatically once you click this one once you click this account determination this one check the message procedure so contact your system administrator or if you have the authorization click on this account determination so once you click this account determination so automatically it will redirect you to the configuration of automatic posting so once you will click there then it will redirect to your the common OBYC settings so if you click on this configuration automatic message so then you need to uh, click next next it will redirect to your auto posting screen once you click on the auto posting screen or if you click on the account assignment I hope you can able to recall so once you click on the account assignment then you will get this particular win this one uh, this uh, particular account determination now from this account determination if you see what is the missing in our previous configuration you can see the account determination PRD is missing so that's why we need to double click on this PRD that is your price difference so once you double click on this then it will redirect to you the rule okay so it will ask you once you click on this PRT it will ask you you can see here the cost difference once you click here okay once you click here this one once you click on this PRT this one once you click on this PRT then automatically it will once you click on the PRT now it will go to the rule so in this rule whatever the informations you have like normally we have the valuation class right valuation modification once all this thing you are going to define the rule so once you will click here then next it will ask you the accounts so as for this rule setting it is going to ask you the account so you need to assign the accounts here along with your valuation class so these are the accounts your difference accounts already 
you uh, I have my previous videos are there for this configuration so you can refer uh, from there this is just I'm um, explaining how to configure the settings from the error message okay just save it now it's done so just from an um, error message we conclude that PRD configuration or OBYC setting is missing then we are going to do the configuration this is one scenario so another situation like as I told here in some cases you are not lucky as for the scenario one so in this case like you are going to uh, that means system here also system is going to give you the technical uh, system is going to give you the message but this time it will be a technical message so this time it is a table related message okay so instead of functional message it is a technical message so now you can see the same so you can see here the here I'm getting the message table 169 P entry the company code 9101 does not exist so this is the same only I'm getting the error message but in this this time I'm getting a functional message so if you double click on this or if you click on this question mark here on this red icon where I'm getting the error so the message screen will be there so you can see the message screen is there now we are going to do the configuration from this message screen now in this case if you click here let me if you click here this one you can see here this option right this this one so if you click here this option so it is great right now you can see in this case this particular icon is grayed out that means we can't do the configuration directly by going to this configuration right but we need to resolve this issue and as the table informations are missing so in this case you need to go to that uh, that means from a bad point of view we are going to resolve it so you need to go to the sm30 so you need to go to the sm30 this is your maintenance screen so you need to go to the sm30 and in sm30 you are going to add that particular table so in the table view this in this particular field you are going to add the table which was uh, missing there so if you remember what is the table so you can see here it is showing that particular table 169 169 it is missing so you need to enter that particular one in the that particular view so in the view mode you are going to add here v underscore 169 this is the particular table was missing in my configuration so once you click here and you need to click here once you click and just click on this customizing this one this is your customizing so once you will click on this customizing then automatically uh, the next screen will come that means with project or without project if you have the project code you can add that otherwise just continue okay so with project or without project next you are going to redirect here now you need to just select here so what the error we are facing here we are facing the error related to invoice the first screen the error is related to invoice so you need to fix the error here so click on this logistic invoice verification so once you click here so automatically it will redirect to your configuration in previous case from the message we redirected to the configuration here from the table point of view it is redirected to the configuration but both impact same so once you will double click on this logistic invoice verification it will redirect to the IMG screen or the configuration where you can do the necessary configuration clear okay so here you need to do the configuration so I hope uh, you got some idea in interview so as a quick reference just I shared this one